Hey, hey everyone, it is five o'clock and it's Sunday, so it's time for So Sweet Sunday. Well, the wonderful world of Facebook has changed up yet again. Um, I was trying to put my comment, like, you know, my um, show notes or whatever I usually put in there, and it would not let me copy it or paste it in there. Usually, um, hold on, I gotta have pants on, I can't do this. I'll tell you in a minute. Alright, so we share everywhere. We share to teaspoon of sugar, we share to my embroidery. Since we're on a single needle today, we will share to brother. Oh, uh, let's see, there's brother P seven Throwing me off enough today. Let me see what y'all are doing. How are you guys? How are you? How are you? So, as I was saying when I first started, I was trying to, you know, how I copy and usually paste all my stuff in there at the beginning, you know, like me, share me, you know, whatever I have going on. It's not there. Can't figure it out right now. So, I will go back and figure it out maybe while we're stitching or the afterwards. It's no big deal. Not a, not a big deal. Price is averted. We, we will survive. Um, but what else what have y'all been up to today and yesterday i stitched all day um i was working on an order of either 12 or 13 sweatshirts and i just finished it today like i was literally up until two three o'clock in the morning stitching not because i had to but i couldn't sleep so it was a one hour um it was a one hour stitch out so i just each time i heard it go off I would pull it off, hoop another one, put it on. I was using my Mighty Hoops hooping station. Y'all know, if you know me, I, I have a hooping station, but I use my Hoop Tech clamps more. But when I do like a sweatshirt or something, I would show y'all, but the person that did it for she's um, she probably watches my live sometimes, and I don't like to show them before they get it. But please believe I took some video, and I will take some pictures, and I will post it as my content. But, um... Anyway, but yeah, I never, I, I rarely use my Hoop Tech, I mean my um, Mighty Hoops hooping station, but when I'm doing a sweatshirt, it just makes it so much easier. I literally put it in position, slid it on, click, click, pulled it off. Each time, like I had, I think I went up to like a 2X, so I had to move the design just a little bit down for the bigger sizes, but well old machine, okay? Please believe it. Um, let's see, who's on here? Hey, Monet. Hey, LaKendria. Hey, Mom. Hey, April. Hey, Denise. Oh, you said you haven't been in here in a couple weeks. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Don't leave us like that again. Don't, don't you run off and leave us again. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Jamie. Uh, hey, Ann. Uh, Jamie said, and I don't like it. So it's been doing it to you, too? It's not just me. As long as it's not just me. As long as Facebook isn't just um, bothering with me. As long as it's all of us in this together. Did I already say hey to Belinda? Um, if not, hey girl, hey. Hey Starla. Hey Evelyn. Happy Sunday to you too. Hey Sierra. Um, Jamie says she loves her station. I mean, I love it too. I just don't use it as much as I should. But okay. You wanna know why for real? Do you, do you want to know the real? Let's just cut all the all the <laughs> all the um What's what I'm looking for? Fluff. Let's call it fluff. Let's just cut all the fluff. I don't use my hooping station as much as I should because I don't have room for my hooping station. And every time I get ready to use it, I have to clear off a space to use it. So that's why I don't use it as much. I would use it a ton more if it had a clear home or if I wouldn't pile stuff on top of it. But with that being said, when I did clear the spot off and when I did use it, y'all, 
the bomb. Y'all know me. I use I use almost all products. I am I don't have a bias. Um, I use certain things for certain projects, and um, it works for me. But yeah, we made it happen, and it saved me some time. Um, you guys, Sierra is a first timer. You know what we do for first timers? Uh, we welcome them. Welcome, Sierra. Am I pronouncing your name right? I'm used to seeing an E or a C in there. See, I think I think I let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. Hey Jeff, hey Bell. Hey Arsenio. Everybody, please everybody say hey to Arsenio. He flat out called me out and said, You ain't say hey to me. He really said ain't. He said, You ain't say hey to me. Um, someone says, let's see. I don't know why. Someone just messaged me and said they don't see a link for today. Maybe I'll, when we're stitching, I'll go out and send links. Oh, it's just, it's not me, it's Facebook. Um, yeah, everybody say hey to Arsenio. And then say hey to Sierra. She's a newbie. Where did I leave off? Hey, D. Hey, Marla. And hey, Dolphus. Okay, so I think we're all caught up to right now. Hey, Regina. Regina's a newbie too. Listen, if y'all are newbies, let's welcome. Let's welcome all the newbies. So go ahead. If you're a newbie, say, I'm a newbie. And then we will say welcome to all of you all and thanks for joining us. Hey, Ayana. Um, if if this is your first time, let me just explain what this is about because you're like on here and you see this girl just talking and talking and talking and, you know, Christmas tree in the back and everything, red up there and everything, and you don't know what's going on. Jeff, you are not a newbie. Um, and you don't know what's going on. Well, this is Sunday and it's 5 o'clock. So it's time for So Sweet Sunday. Every Sunday at 5 o'clock, with the exception of like 1 or 2 when I'm out gallivanting in these streets, I go live and I do a stitch out, a live tutorial. I've been doing this for, I want to say, almost three years now. I am I'm shocked. Talk about some consistency, y'all. I am shocked. But um, I enjoy it. So that's why I come back every week. And then also everybody that's on this live that... Um, that watches me every week. I show up for you all and then you all show up for me. So I truly enjoy it. I enjoy you all. I have a brother PE800, a PR655. I, ha I have a 780, but I don't use it anymore. Um, what else? I stitch on anything that's not moving. Okay, this is not moving. Y'all know the rules down here in the South. <laughs> as long as it, if it fits, it stitches. You know, like who has it? If it fits, it ships. Us, if it fits under that needle, it ships. I mean, it stitches. Um, I do tutorials. I have a academy. Usually, all this stuff is in the notes. I'll go back and add it later. But Facebook just won't let us be great or meta, whatever it is now. Whatever we are, don't talk bad about it. But um, I have an academy where we do weekly tutorials. It's a monthly membership. We meet up every Tuesday and we stitch and we learn. We have fun. It's a beautiful community i have a free facebook group all that stuff okay so you'll read that later all right let's get this show on the road i could talk to y'all for hours but we i have to go to the grocery store guess why you want to know the most random reason why i have to go to the grocery store well number one is not so random kira um ooh, get out of here. kira needs lunch for tomorrow but the other reason because usually if we don't uh, if we don't have lunch i just stop early enough in the morning but guess why she wants some eggnog. My girl likes eggnog. Um, so I'm going to get her some eggnog when we leave. I was going to go to Costco. I don't know. What time does Costco close, y'all? Do me a favor. Someone look up Costco and see what time it closes here at Eastern Standard Time. Because if we can make it to Costco, that's where we'll go. But I got to get, get, get on out of here. So let's get this show on the road. You want to know what we're stitching today? Give me some thumbs up if you want to know what we're stitching today. What are we stitching today? What are we stitching today? What are we stitching today? So let me show you. Aside from having all kinds of trouble with trying to share, I mean, trying to put all my notes everywhere, I was quickly trying to hoop this. So it's a shirt. All right, let me tell you. Okay, so before I show you the first, the other side of it, let me tell you about this shirt. On Friday, I went live in another group that I'm a part of, and every day from the 1st of December until December 25th, we go live every day. Not me. I don't go live every day, but there's a group of us, and we... Is my video going in and out? Let's see. 
Let me, Kira, are you on Wi-Fi? Hop off for a little bit, just until I'm done with the live, please. We had to kick her off of Wi-Fi. Maybe she'll come visit us now. Um, but we go live every, they close at six. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. All right, we're not gonna make it to Costco today. So we have to go to another grocery store and get one of the other brands. But um, I, we go live every day from the 1st until the 25th of December. It's called DIY Craftsmas. Um, and we, it's a DIY craft group and it's the 25 days of Craftsmas. So I stitched this, so it's inside out. All right, so, okay, we're, we're looking, okay, don't look y'all, this is, she's not decent. But this is the inside of what we stitched. Because if you know about single needle embroidery, you have to stitch it on, you have to hoop it or um, put it on your hoop inside out. So the right side is gonna be up underneath there. So fun fact, I was trying to like hoop it like really quick, really quickly, didn't work out. If you ever need somebody to be in your hooping uh, contest to hoop something very, very fast, I'm not the person. That's not me. That's not my call to, um, where are my pins? That is not my ministry. Quick hooping just is not my thing. So I figured I would stitch on the back of it. This is what happens when I clean up, you guys. You didn't get the invite? I will invite you. I did. Where are we going? No. Okay, so I'm going to have to, um, I'll post it. Because I, I posted it in the group the other night before I went live. But it's just a group of us. I think it's, this is the third year. Yo, we got to call Kira again. Hey, Sue. Let me get. Y'all call Kira for me. Someone call Kira. Oh, I found them. Never mind. We don't have to bother him. I found them. I cleaned up and I put them over here. So I decided to float rather than hoop. Um, Sue said, hey, girl, hey. Um, I decided to float rather than hoop because, you know, I, I hooped it. And I can do it. I know how to hoop. It's just when I'm um, rushing a little bit, it kind of came out like that. So... I mean, Zoe can't, y'all know, you know my, um, my rule, if it's a gift, you can't complain. And just like I did with Cannon, uh, he can't read yet, so they won't know the difference, but I still wanted it to look nice. And guess what? Guess whose birthday it is? If y'all know, comment below. This is my hooping guy that I used for it. Okay. So I've gotten it hooped. I mean, I've gotten it floated. Cause you have two options you can hope you can float or hoop and i already marked it so let's let's see what this lighting i haven't gotten used to it getting dark yet so i'm not used to my lighting all right and i'm just going to pin it around i did not do that part before we started so i'll do that now i can hoop fast <laughs> right, Jeff said I can hoop fast or straight, but not both. Basically, that's what happened. It was I hooped it. It got on there. It was it was secure and everything. We were gonna stitch the heck out of that name crooked sideways. Let's lean it a little bit, leaning. But I'm pinning. Nobody knows whose birthday it is. What happened? Nobody's coming. Whose birthday is it today? Does anybody know? Has anybody been stalking my page? If you stalk my page, my personal page, you know whose birthday it is. Kara, come tell them whose birthday it is today. Natasha knows. It's my dog's birthday. Whose birthday is it? Cannon. It is Cannon's birthday. Cannon is three. Cannon is three. He loves fire trucks. Oh, I should. I need to give the rundown of him again. Um, yes, the sweet little boy. Cannon is three. He enjoys fire trucks. Uh, what's the other show he watches? Coco Melon. Coco Melon. 
he likes. We found out over Thanksgiving that he loves ham. Loves some ham. It was weird. It was really strange. Loves ham. Um, and he's he's pretty fluent in tantrums. So I don't know if you all know any boys like that, but he's he's pretty good at tantrums. I think that is his thing. That's his thing. Everybody's saying happy birthday, Ken. And so I will relay that to him. Let's see it over here. Now, I already saved my design. He is a little bit. Listen, he's a ham and he loves ham. That's funny. Um, hey, Val. So we're going to load my USB in. I, y'all, I'm getting good at this thing called um, and brilliance. Do y'all, do y'all remember have, who has been following me long enough to know my pre and brilliance days? A lot of you all, because I just switched over to and brilliance recently. Now I don't think that I am abandoning um, so what pro. I still love my so what pro, but uh -oh, is this what fit? Yeah, I still love my so what pro. But, um, will it? Oh, yes, it will. And I, you know, I can't argue with the brilliance. It's, it's, it's the bomb. It is the bomb. That was not a paid advertisement either. That's my total. That's my, <laughs> how, what's that? It's like the, these are my opinions, whatever. I kind of like it, y'all. I'm liking it. Hey, Dee Dee. So I too am still learning. Um, Ardel is it Ardelia? Ardelia? I too am still learning um, in brilliance. I have enthusiasts and I love it. It's really easy. All right, so this is going to be two inches tall. It's Zoe. I typically really like to make sure I measure correctly when I have a Y or a J or a Q or something that falls below the line because it gets tricky because it seems like it's going to be two inches. It seems like two inches is going to be big enough, but it's really, you know, if you know, you know, you know that you've had that issue where you think it's going to be bigger, but then that Y or something messes you up. So, um, I'm, but I made this one two inches because it's for a baby. Oh, this, this, Zoe, do y'all remember? Zoe is my great niece, my first great niece. So I, I put a gingerbread on the front for 25 days of Craftsmas, and I figured I, at first I didn't have anybody to give it to, so I was like, I'll just give it to her. And I brought the thread, or at least I thought I did. If I didn't, I'll just use this one. I just need it pink to match. You have that, so you have um, enthusiast and stitch artist. I'm thinking about getting stitch artist. I am highly, highly, highly considering it because I think I can do more with editing stuff. Um, I have Hatch too. I have Hatch software, and it's the bomb. I just don't know. I don't know how to use it. Yeah, I got with So What Pro, and I fell in love with it. So we're going to keep an eye on these edges because I only did four pins around. So we'll see if they are playing nice or not. Um, I think we're ready to stitch. This is just, it's just going really fast for me. Unlike the hooping debacle. I like that word, y'all, debacle. Um, all right, let's go back because we didn't find our placement. So to find your placement, you use the thing with the dots around it, with the square and the tracing lines. And I usually just go top, bottom, left, right. Luckily, Zoe's a little one. So we don't have to go up too, too far. It doesn't just have to be huge. It doesn't have to go across the, the whole um, width of the back. We'll just put it like at the top. And we might move it over just a little bit. Because remember, we used our grid to find our center. So no matter where you put it on there, as long as you are on that grid line, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't see. I hooped it the opposite. And I pin, you know. You know what? Scoot in. So, hey, Shakia. Y'all scoot in. Hold on. Just scoot in. Don't step on anybody. It's just rude. Who stepped on somebody? If y'all are new, I promise I'm not crazy. I'm just silly. All right. 
I think I like this placement here. Uh, let's go one more time. Check the parameters, what we have going on here. Let me tell you, if you only have a single needle, please know that you can do a lot. Okay? Please know that you can do a lot. And I'm gonna go to embroidery, and then we can go ahead and start. It's only a seven minute stitch out. So I press her foot down, green means go. I think we're okay. If I run into any issues, I will stop and put another pin, but we'll see what we do. We'll make it do what it do first. All right, green means go. Um, main thing, main, main thing. Make sure everything stays out of the way. Fingers included. You just got a SE600 last week and you're nervous to use it. Oh, girl, listen. Do not be nervous. You got this. So I do a lot of um, tutorials. I have a whole library of videos in the academy that help you with stitch outs on either the 5x7, the 4x4, or the multi-needle. Um, and then every Tuesday night we hop on and you know do the question and stuff. We do QA on Wednesday, but but yeah, there's a lot you can do. A lot of my, to be honest, a lot of my tutorials that I do, I make sure I do them in a size that can fit on the single needle. So, I mean that single needle, on the 4x4 four four, for that very reason. Hey, Kiana. How are ya? Oh, while, while that's stitching, let's see. Maybe I can share what I need to share. Oh, whoo, wait a minute, y'all. I forgot that I was working on a single needle. Do me a favor, y'all. If it gets underneath, if it gets caught, holler at me, okay? Okay? Um, Denise said I was thinking about doing an Etsy shop, but I got extremely nervous. So Etsy is not as intimidating as it seems. Um, I haven't mastered Etsy, but I'm good enough at it that I keep sales on a regular. As a matter of fact, right now, I woke up to like four sales. Um, I keep my easiest things on Etsy, to be honest. My easiest, easiest, easiest of easiest stuff I keep on Etsy. Um, I'm great, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, good, good. Thank you for popping in. You got to let me know next time you're in Augusta, Kiana. Cause I know you pass through here a lot. We have some talking to do. Um, what else, what else, what else? anymore. I don't bother it, but when I first got this machine, this tension, it just wouldn't let me be great. Alright, let's see if we got it. Where they 
is a will, there is a way. So what I need, basically what I need to be doing, Shakia is probably yelling at me in the background saying, if you would just get, uh, what is it called? What's that thing? The, with the duck. You know, the streaming thing with the duck. Jeff, what's the name of it? Shakia, somebody. You know, stream. Duck stream. Stream yard. <laughs> stream yard is the name of it. Uh, I was supposed to be figuring that out. We had a whole Zoom about working it, and I just hadn't had a chance. I'm, to be honest, I'm a little scared to just try it on the fly, so I might have to do like some some uh, trials, some like dry runs. Hey, Margaret. touch on that I have modules in the Academy on uh, Etsy and then I did a one-on-one -on -one session yesterday which was a part of my Black Friday special um, where I did half off my one-on-ones for the Academy and I had a couple of those to finish up and we went through the whole process of doing some little tweaks to her Etsy shop because I had her just go ahead and watch the videos that was already in the Academy just to set it up. And then from there, we were able to really maximize on our time to get it listed. Um, we were, I think we, no, we didn't run an ad. We set a coupon. We set the categories, all those fun things. Just the, the easiest of the easy stuff. Y'all know me. I like easy. I, I'm, if it's a whole dissertation to it, it's just not going to happen for me. that y'all can't really see the stitch out part but I, listen the best part we save the best for last because once i take it off of the hoop is when you'll actually see it again in the DIY network group on Wednesday so once I, I'll just I'll have to update my links with more on there because that part isn't on there but yeah I could have saved this one you know to do the other side on there but that was just I just wanted to get this one done I just was excited so exciting so this is what we have all right so it's on the hoop I took it off all right and it's just kind of hanging in the balance. This is what it does when you float it, okay? If you were to hoop it, the whole shirt would be in there, but I floated it because, um, like Jeff said, I can do one or the other fast. I can either hoop it or hoop it straight. Is that how we said it? I don't know. But anyway, it wasn't straight. It was not straight at all. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. The way I like to cut mine out, and everybody does it differently, but sometimes I choose this one, Sometimes I take it off and cut it. Look, I just take it, I bunch it all together. It's not gonna get too wrinkled because I'm not holding it there forever. I puncture a little hole through it and then I just cut around it and I let it fall. My finger is guiding it. Worst case scenario, I have cut my finger, but you know, it was, it was, it was sharp scissors, user error, you know, all that fun stuff. 
And it's cutting up the hoop. And I use my fingers to guide the fabric down to make sure I don't cut a hole in it. Because that would be a disaster. What do y'all think? You think we got it straight? Let's see. Might be a little crooked. We'll see. straight <laughs> straight 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 all right let me go ahead and snip where these scissors came from these are not my usuals okay snip my jump threads snippy snippy um oh oh i have announced i have another announcement I forgot it threw me off when I couldn't um, when I couldn't share but guess what so you know the my early flat my early Black Friday deal that I did where we did the in the hoop stocking you can probably see it right you see that right there see that stocking and then there's another one right over there it's weird it looks like I'm pointing there that those are stockings um, done completely in the hoop and actually these are two y'all have seen these plenty of times I did this one more recently and this is the other one because I couldn't find the black fabric but I posted it up there because now that I've, I got a lot of inboxes and DMs asking about that class so I went ahead and posted it last night that's one of the reasons why I was up super super late um, I was listing that actual class tutorial for um, for the holidays. So that one is available. I missed the part where it was the machine. I have to do all that again. Stitch out part two. Which one? Which part did you miss? Which part did you miss? Uh, you did not. You know how to, Jeff, Jeff, you know how to do this. But, y'all, look. Look. Oh, no, that's not what we did today. We did this today. <laughs> we did this on Friday, and we did this today. This is what we did today. Um, I used my pen. Where'd it go? I have a water soluble pen somewhere. There it is. It fell and rolled. Um, that I marked all my centers and everything with. And then I went ahead and floated it rather than hooped it. Hooping it. Let's see if I did this part right. Okay, I did. Um, okay. Amelia said cute. Denise says I like it. Um, Jamie is puzzled. She has, oh, oh, where did? Okay, <laughs> I was like, why do you, why do you have question marks? So the red fabric on here came from Joanne's and because my thought process was I wanted to find I wanted to find some check fabric like this to do the darker buffalo plaid oh, I did this hat at, um, for my event but I wanted to be able to do the darker red with this one but I couldn't find it so I just went ahead and um, I just went ahead and used this one. Kira just told me that she does not like this one as much as this one, and I would probably have to agree. I think I like I like the um, I like your I like this one. Uh, quilt your own? No, absolutely not. I will not quilt my own, Jeff. That sounds like work. That sounds like work. But yours looked super cute. I am a big advocate of you quilting your own. I am here for you. You. Every one of you all out there, I'm here for you quilting your own. But as for me and my household, I am not quilting my own. That's just an extra step. I just don't want to. When I can just go out and buy it <laughs> for a couple dollars. But um, but yeah, that's a, that is a really good idea because I've seen a lot of different designs. I've seen the flo Flores de Lis for the Saints. I've seen Crawfish. I've seen um, the Breast Cancer Awareness ones on there. So it's really cute if you if you quilt your own. Okay, let me let me not hate on the the quilters because you do some beautiful things. But this is for Zoe. If anybody remembers, Zoe is my great niece. And there's a little decent, oh, there's a little stain, not stain, but it's a little marking on it. Um, and I figured I would pair it with, let's see, I'm, I'm gonna hide it until I can get it off of here. Hey, Haji. Thanks for hanging in there, you guys. 
Okay, I'm gonna cut the tag off. I have a ton of these too. I need to list these on my Etsy shop. I have a couple of blanks on there. Y'all ready? Isn't that cute? Is that not just the cutest thing? I hope it fits. I don't know. It's a t-shirt. So she's a, like this one. Um, I think this one is more for like the newborn ones, but I had it around here. I don't send it and they can figure it out when they get ready to get dressed. Maybe they could put it like what I would do when I had Kira. I used to love to put her on some little, some little leggings or something. Leggings, that's the one with the open feet, right? Whichever one has the open feet. I would put those on her with a little tutu on top of it. So maybe they'll do that with like some um, cream. No, not cream. Maybe. What color would you get? Brown? I don't know, I'd have to see. Maybe have like a hot pink or a darker pink just to kind of offset this and the, the color of her name on the back. So, yeah. I'm all for dressing somebody else's baby. Somebody else's baby. My baby. My baby's about to be 14, you guys. Can you believe that? Kira, how many days? Your birthday. 14? Oh, huh. she said that quick. She'll be 14 in 14 days. Uh... Jamie said cream. Okay, y'all y'all up for cream. Even though this is white, you want cream leggings? Would that not clash? Don't ask me, y'all. Listen, if I could, I would wear a t-shirt and some um, some comfortable pants or either like a sundress every day. I, fashion sense, it just eludes me. See? It's cute, huh? But that's it. So now we have to start building Zoe's little Christmas box to send to her um, so that she can have it in time for her. Oh, I can do some first Christmases. Some first Christmas stuff for her. That's going to be super fun. But that is all. You know, these, these, I'm, I'm getting a little too um, fast with this. This is starting to go too fast. This is just, this is our time. This is supposed to be our time where we sit hang out and chit chat but it's going too fast it's starting to go too fast these days so y'all are for cream okay okay should i make me okay we're not gonna go there y'all know me y'all know i want a tutu but we're not gonna go there um we're not gonna open that can of worms i stayed on the whole time and enjoyed thank you arsenio thank you thank you thank you I appreciate you. How are your babies? Hope your babies are doing well. Um, no, Jeff, we're not getting into that. I'm not. You got. You got to watch. You're gonna have to go back and watch the replay of me. It's on YouTube of me. What were we talking about? I'll find it and tag you in it. And I told you all all about the tutu. Susan says get a tutu. Uh, Y'all, yeah. I'm gonna get a tutu. I'm gonna get a tutu. And I, I will send you the link. Okay, I'll send you the link, not to the tutu. I'll send you the link to the um, <laughs> to the YouTube that I talked about when I wanted a tutu. I'm 63 and I have three. You have three? I'm behind then. I'm behind. Okay, it's happening. We're getting a tutu. Uh, <laughs> but there is a, there's a whole backstory to that. I'm going to have to find it and post it for you all here. But that's all literally that I have. Does anybody else have anything before we go? Any, are all hearts and minds clear before we go? Angela, there you go. That's my tutu hater. <laughs> That's definitely an inside joke. Um, Angela, Angela knows. Angela knows. If I, if I tell y'all now, then it'll defeat the purpose of watching the YouTube, so I have to go back and find it. This was my peaceful time. Don't ask about the twins. Okay, I won't ask about them. Just send me their names. Send me their names, Arsenio, because I owe them a gift. Um, Shirley is laughing. Y'all are laughing. So in the, oh, so y'all in the academy, I told them the other day, uh, I posted it that we are going to do, I know y'all have seen it. Cause if you've been online anywhere, you've seen it. The, the beanies. Okay. With the, um, patch and the name on it. Okay. 
Arsenio, DM me that. I'm not going to remember to come back and look at these comments. Will you DM me that? I will need to know their sizes, all that fun stuff, okay? Um, so I'm going to do, we're going to do this in the academy on Tuesday because it's the trend. So, you know, we got to keep up. We got to be trendy. I'm super excited. I haven't done one yet. So I'm going to do a practice run. Sometimes I do practice runs. Sometimes I just jump in head first and I like to show what problems you would run into by literally running into the problems on live because I just don't mind it. But um, other than that, I will see you all, um, Academy members, I'll see you all for this stitch out because I'm super excited. And yes, we're doing green. Why are we doing green? Because I don't have any more black beanies. What you eating? Oh, girl, who's um, I don't have any more black beanies, so I love that beanie. Text me some ideas to put, I mean, um, DM me some ideas to put on it, Shirley. It would be amazing to take a similar design and have a video showing you through the typing process. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do that, Shirley. I mean, not Shirley, Susan. My wife has the perfect system. She gets called. Her honeydew list items knocked out because she knows I'm looking to escape. <laughs> Currently shopping for food we don't need. That's what I'm about to do after we get here. It's hard to find some in Minnesota. Wait, what is it? What is it hard to find? Beanies? Is it hard to find beanies? Can you order them? I order mine. Um, Jamie, I'll post that in the academy. Um, she wants to know what kind of a what kind of fabric we need for the beanie. So I'll post, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure someone will come underneath it and, and still give you an answer, but I will post what I will be using um, in the academy for you all. And then after we do the tutorial, you know, I always load it into the library area with, I'm getting better, I'm getting better, about um, putting all of the supplies and all the links in there. It might help people decide on the program that works for them. Yeah, it would. Um, it would. The only thing about it, I'm not proficient in all of them. I could show, I do have some videos in the academy on like things like a knockdown stitch on. So, okay, listen. Okay, boom. Is that how you do it here? Is this, okay, boom. No, I thought, okay. I just made it up. Somebody knows. Okay, boom. No. Um, hey Mila. Jamila. Um, I'm about to try Tuesday night with you. Okay. All right. So y'all gonna make me go get all the stuff ahead of time. Because you all y'all wanna stitch out with me on okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see what y'all are doing to me, Academy members. See what do y'all see what my Academy members do to me? They boss me around a little bit. They, they're so bossy. Um what about say? Y'all hear her? She says we're having crab legs for dinner. And I told y'all, this is my favorite. This right here, this one's my favorite. And then Jeff's is my also favorite because they keep it super duper cold. I had this on here last week and then I wore the shirt with it, so. I did not do that on purpose. I've just been drinking my water. I've been I've been drinking my water and minding my business. That's what's happening. Um, gosh, y'all, I was about to say something that was going to be good. Mmm. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Somebody remind me. I like beanies and hats, but I get stuck on a design. I get stuck on fonts. Um, I'm going to think one through because I've looked. I've looked in almost all the groups, and I have, I've seen some really good ones, and I've seen some really beginner ones where uh, you can just kind of see that they were still struggling with the font that they used or with the type of fabric they used or with the, the you know, the stitch that they use. So I've just been looking to decide how I'm going to do mine. I'll probably do a practice stitch um, sometime. Oh, digitizing programs. There we go. Let me talk about that before I forget. So with, um, I did in the Academy, I actually did a knockdown stitch tutorial in So What Pro before I got fairly good with um, in Brilliant. And then when I started playing around with it in Brilliance, I did a knockdown stitch in there because I went to I went to everything embroidery market and I watched Lisa Shaw do one of the classes in there. 
It was great, and I learned a lot, and I learned how to do the knock down stitch. I came home and I tried it, and I love it. Let the record show that on Cannon's third birthday, okay, in the year of 2021, I admitted that I prefer the knockdown stitch on embroideries. Let me tell you why. I like that one more. I feel like I'm doing a speech. I like the. <laughs> I can't even be serious. I like the knockdown stitch in Embrilliance. Because you gotta do your hands like that. In Embrilliance, better than I like the one in So What Pro because the one in So What Pro is real blocky. Okay, it's really really blocky. And the one in Embrilliance, it follows the name a little better. And I even did a little blurb on the tutorial about how if you want to fill in a spot that it doesn't go to. But I don't have anything here. I did one for um, for one of my friends the other day. I did a whole bunch of them. It was like a 20-something minute stitch out. And I used the clear monofill. I think I have a YouTube video about that. Um, 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 um. Are you going to use full leather material? Yes, something like that. Y'all know me, I like to play around with different textures. Um, I have I have a lot of cork, but I don't think I'm going to like the cork. I don't think I'm going to use the cork on it. So, Because, you know, this is this cork. The gingerbread gal is in cork. And I don't think I want to do the cork because... It, and I have color. Ooh, I have colorful cork. I bought it at Embroidery Market. So, see it shines through gold. Things going to match that perfectly. I can't wait. I wish... Um, but yeah, so that one, um, that's why I prefer that particular knockdown stitch. I can't wait to log into the academy to see what you choose. I know. How do you use the clear thread? Listen, y'all have some great questions, but guess what? Guess what? Academy members tell them. They might not believe me. Because all of this stuff is covered. I, I promise I go over all of it in the academy. Um, if you can, hop in there with us. I promise, I promise you can ask me all these questions. And I, I go back over them time and time and time. As many times as we need to. Because we just hang out and have fun. But clear thread. I, I, will, I will go and say this. Clear thread is used the same way that you use, um, in my opinion, metallic thread. Careful. You use it carefully because sometimes it does kind of tend to mix up or tangle up. Do you put any bobbin? Oh, no. I would never. I don't think that would be a good idea. I honestly use just white for my bobbin. Like, I don't, I don't do anything. to my bobbin. I don't, I don't do anything other than white bobbin thread. I have used black bobbin thread before. Let me tell you why. You want to hear it? Here you go. I have used black bobbin thread because <laughs> it was I was it was bootleg. I was I will be honest. I was bootlegging it and I could not figure out why my bobbin was showing through on that stitch. I did not have time to figure it out. I didn't have time to either redigitize. So I was like, you know what? If it want to show through, it's gonna show through black. Because luckily I lucked up and my design was black. So I used it so that you couldn't really tell. Now that's not best practice because if it's showing through, that means something is wrong with your stitch, um, with the quality of your stitch. But in that moment, I had to do what I had to do. That part, Matthew, listen, Matthew. Matthew said a mouthful, okay? Listen, somebody print that out and put that on a banner. Let's fly that across the sky. Because he said, clear thread is done with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It's the worst, but it's also the best. Mic drop. He said that. Um, that's it. That's, that's the honest to God truth. Um, it's, the, it's the best, but it's the worst. It was the best of times, and it was the worst of times. Because <laughs> getting through it was, it, was, it was touch and go. And it doesn't like to play well with all machines. Do you use a special needle? Nope. I don't use a special needle. But, yep, all of these questions you guys can ask me all the time, all the time. All, like you, they know. I don't, I don't care how many 
Sometimes you ask me the same question. I really don't. I'll just answer it the same way every time. Unless I find a newer, better, funner. It's a word. It's a word today. Funner way to use it. But um, other than that, we just have a lot of fun. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that, you know, the nice little whatchamacallit. And I'll post it on my page and in the academy. Um, I mean not in the academy and and it's so sweet to learn for you all. But that's it. I need, okay, I'm going to have to give, who can we give this one to, Kira? Because we're not, y'all, I got rid of all of my red ornaments. I usually do red and green. I usually do red, green, and gold every year. But, um, I am so thirsty. Are you comfortable? Um, I could make them for the teachers. You're right. I'll make the small ones for them. And put little, oh, we can put little treats in them. We're gonna make the small ones. We're gonna make more of these and put little treats in them for our teachers. So I got a lot of work to do. Um, but yeah, so that would that would be so 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 much fun. I would love to have all of you all in there. I know, I'm aware that everybody cannot join, but those who can, I would love to have you. With that being said, you guys, I I've been making I've been making gnomes. <laughs> That makes me think of Romeo and Juliet. I don't even think I saw the movie, but I remember all the previews for it. But before you leave, where'd you get the water? The water? Just the water? The water. I'm, I'm gonna be petty because I, I know what you mean, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be petty. The water inside of the water bottle came from Costco. It is a clear, is it crystal, crystal water, crystal clear water? They deliver it to my house every other week. Mm -hmm. Costco, I, stopped going. I don't get it from Kroger anymore. They deliver it to my house on my front doorstep, two bottles, two big old gallon things every other week. Um, they also bill me for it. And then I put it in my water cooler. That's where I got the water from. But okay, okay, okay. I'll stop being funny. The water bottle um, is a bit. It's it's. I, I created the this design and the shirt one. It is available on my website, but that's where I got it from. Just real simple like that. Sorry, Elliot. Y'all know me. If you know me, you know me. You know that my answers are always smart, Elliot. And if you read my post on my page today, it's public. I don't care. You can go to my page. You can request me as a friend. I don't care. Um, but the answer that I gave my daughter earlier today was also a smart, Elliot answer. So I'm, you know. Might bite me in the butt one day, but my child's gonna be just like me with the smart answers. So, uh, but that's it. I hope it answers your question. Let me scroll up. Sorry about that. Okay, good deal. But. I will definitely, definitely, definitely see you guys on, let's see, what's today? Today is Sunday, the 5th, Cannonball's birthday. Uh, Academy, I will see you on Tuesday. Mentorship students, I will see you on your scheduled nights. And hey, Sharon, hey, Londa. And then I'll see everybody else back here on Sunday because I don't plan on going live. Oh, no, 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 Wednesday. So if you are a part of the um, DIY uh, networking group, I will see you all then. I will definitely post the link so that you can join that one too, December 12th. December 12th, yep, for the rest of you all, I will be back. Now, um, yes, I, I plan on, I will be home for sure. I will be taking care of my mom. My mommy will be here with me because she will be having a knee replacement surgery on Friday. I am very confident that, we'll, that it will go well because it's just, it's just going to, you know, because we're going to pray. We stay prayed up. It's going to go well. And as long as she's feeling fine, I mean, she's coming home that same day. She's going to recover here. We're going to have home health here, um, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to work her behind off because a lot of you all know that before I went full time in embroidery, I did physical therapy and I did home health physical therapy. So I'm going to work her. She's going to work. But she's going to get better. She's going to get well fast. And as long as she's feeling fine, I will be back on here live on um, Sunday. I feel like she will be. She'll be doing it. She'll be good. But um, other than that, just keep us in your prayers. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the ones that is already saying prayers, that everything goes well, and that she heals quick. I think she will. I know she will. I'm confident. She's a, she's a
she's gonna bounce back really fast and then she's gonna be running all around here and I'm gonna have to keep up with her. All right, so as y'all can see, I stalled this goodbye as long as possible because I was not ready to go, but I have to go now, okay? I have to, did you get your, don't get your butt back, huh? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Jamie, was that a typo? Um, but I am going to go, we're gonna go to, the, are you dressed, are you ready? Y'all, when I, one more thing, when I was little, when I was younger, growing up, oh, but beat, I know, right, Jamie, listen, y'all gonna have to come see her, y'all gonna, gonna come see about her, but when I was younger, and my mom said we were going somewhere, if we were not ready, when she got in that car, she left us, what happened to those kind of moms, we got soft, that's what happened, we got soft, because my mom worked at my school, and you don't know, plenty of mornings, she left me, because I wasn't ready when it was time to go. Some mornings I did it on purpose. Don't tell her. But some mornings she left me. But all right, so we're gonna get dressed and we're going to head to the grocery store and get my baby some eggnog because she wants eggnog. Is that no, they said the people said I mean Costco closed at six o'clock and it's definitely six o four, so we missed it. Why is it closed at eight? I don't know. She is well. I, I Elliot. I did not promise, I did not agree to crab legs. I didn't agree to that. Oh, I took that other stuff out. That roast and potatoes. We're having roast and potatoes. Okay. It's Sunday. Yep. All right, you guys, I will see you guys later. Remember, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. If you are just joining me, I'm going to show you really quick what we did. Uh, we're going to spray it so that we get our water-soluble marks off the back of it. But we did Zoe's name on the back of a shirt um, and on the front of the shirt. The other day, we did a gingerbread man. Gingerbread woman. Gingerbread gal. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a man. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you all for watching. Welcome to all of my newbies. If this was your first time, I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back. I hope we did not let too much of the crazies out to scare you so that you will definitely come back and see us next time. All right. I will see you all later. Bye.